Hi, I'm Craig Wilson, editor of Stuff Magazine South Africa, and today I'm taking a look at the Pictar iPhone camera grip. The idea is you plug your iPhone or iPhone Plus into it, open the accompanying app, and what you end up with is something that more closely resembles a regular compact or system camera. On the front there's a zoom wheel, and on top we've got two control dials. The one on the right here with the plus and minus acts like an exposure compensation dial, letting you brighten or darken an image on the fly before shooting. This dial on the left lets you toggle between the various modes in the Pictar app. Over here is the shutter release, and it's got a half press and full press option, so you can half press to get focus. There's also a cold shoe on top here for adding accessories like microphones or flashes, and down the bottom there's a standard tripod mount, which is great if you're looking to do long exposures or other things that are usually impossible to do handheld with a phone. There's a zoom wheel on the front, although of course we're pretty reluctant to go past two times zoom on this iPhone 7 Plus, because thereafter you're really just going into digital zoom and you're just zooming in on the existing image. You may as well just shoot the image and crop into it. The dial on the right acts as an exposure compensation dial, making things either darker or brighter depending which way you roll it. This exposure compensation dial is perhaps the most appealing thing about the whole setup. It's the kind of setting that it can make a huge difference to have quick access to, and it's one of the things that phones certainly lack over dedicated compact system or DSLR cameras. The secondary rear dial lets you switch between modes. These of course are dictated by the Pictar app itself. As with dedicated cameras, a half press of the shutter button pulls focus, while a second press takes the image. While I really like the Pictar on paper, in practice I'm not entirely convinced. The main problem for me is the build quality. The spring mechanism feels a little sort of flimsy and looks a little bendy when you put your phone in it, and these dials don't feel like they'd really last for ages, particularly if you were using them all the time. And this is the sort of accessory you'd want to have on your phone rather a lot. If you're going to invest in it, you want it to really be able to withstand the odd bump and knock. I'm similarly unconvinced about the cold shoe, it just doesn't feel like it's sturdy enough to hold on to anything really substantial. And finally, the other gripe I have is that the battery required is one of those unusual sorts that you mostly find in manual film cameras. You would really like it to have been a AA battery or even a pair of AAAs, or just anything that you could readily swap out and pick up from any convenience store. And finally, as with any camera accessory for your phone, it's only any use if you've got it with you. So while they give you a carry case, wrist straps, and other accessories to make that easier, this is only really going to work if you're willing to carry it around with you all the time. And for a lot of users, that might undo some of the benefits of mobile photography in the first place.